All right, it's time for us to put into practice everything we trained for. <laughs> we, uh, we're low on water. We're low on some things. And, uh, you know, it just, when you have a, a separate vehicle, which I highly recommend if you're having a large vehicle, um, it's really nice to be able to just take that vehicle to go get things. But when you're talking about things like water and stuff, that makes it a little more difficult. Obviously, you probably could go buy 25 or 50 gallons like in individual plastic containers and individually destroy the earth. But um, instead, we got the water bladders. Now, you've seen this in pre previous videos. If you haven't, we have a 30 and a 60 gallon water bladder. Now, conceivably, I could bring enough water back in one trip to almost fill up the bus. So that makes it really nice. Today, I'm just gonna go snatch up 60 gallons and I'm gonna bring it back to the bus. In the meantime, I'm gonna stop at the store um, and get rid of trash. Like, just take advantage of this. Don't waste, waste gas. Just go and, and do all those things. So that's what we're doing today. Let's get to it. Here's kind of a rule of thumb when you're throwing your garbage away. Number one, don't put your mail in there, okay? Um, you know, this is kind of a gray area. You might be throwing it away in like a Safeway parking lot. They got the garbage cans out there for public consumption. But when you throw away a big bag of garbage and they might just have a hair up their butt one day to go, hey, that's not cool. And then they uh, dig through the trash and find your mail. So that's not a good idea, all right? so. Um, we don't just go and do things illegally and use people's trash cans illegally. We try to find public available trash cans, but at the same time, it's just a good idea to not throw your mail in there, okay? All right, trash done, check. Now I'm gonna go over to Safeway and I'm gonna grab some things out of Safeway because I'm really close. And let's go get some, uh, our lemonadas. We told you about those, they're delicious, you guys. another person for our, our camping spots map on our uh, gold and amazing level patreons there you go buddy okay easy peasy got the groceries now he's got to fill up the water probably should have done it in a different order i probably should have got the water first but who cares let's do this i'm definitely striking out right now at all the different places i could possibly get some water so we're going to continue our search here but it hasn't been easy. Not in this little town of Springerville. I mean, I hate to have to bring myself to actually go knock on someone's door, but I'll do it. <laughs> I think I got a jackpot at the back of the subway here. We'll see. Bummer. Springerville Elks Lodge. Yes, I'm an elk. Dang it. There's no Elks Lodges near me. It's like 100 miles from here. I thought they were in every city in the world. Very disappointing. Let's check the city park. I have this cool gadget called a water bandit that allows me to plug right onto something that's not threaded, but it doesn't mean we're gonna have that today. Nothing. Springerville does not have water for us. They don't have a truck stop or anything. So I might have to try an RV park and see if they just do free water or something. I hate to have to pay for it. hardware because the though the bladders we have are awesome the water bladders 
the uh, valves on them aren't very good, but they, because uh, they were leaking. I haven't had that problem before, but uh, I don't like it leaking. So I'm just gonna go over to these hardware and get some decent brass ones that'll turn on and off and not leak. I'll tell you, while driving this thing, I can definitely feel the extra 500 pounds back there. I just realized this entire drive, I haven't had my seatbelt on. Like, I'm stupid. Don't be like me. Don't be stupid. Okay, I wanna show you guys something that's kind of important, okay? This is the shutoff valve I got. And the reason this is important, for two reasons. One, this probably won't leak. Secondly, it has this. The one they supply, this one right here, has neither. And is leaking out this little port right here. While this bag here is awesome, this is not. And so, by changing this out, this will solve two problems. One, um, it won't leak. Secondly, my hose adapter, check it out. This right here, how do you screw this on? Like you got all this stuff. How do you screw this on, right? So now, it'll screw on like this. So much easier, right? Okay, so let's change this out and try not to make a disaster. Okay, chances are there's gonna be some air pressure built up on this. So I better be aware of that when we get up there. So we're gonna climb about 3,000 feet. All right, that's one, that's great. You guys are sitting on the second one. That's this one right here, this is our 30 gallon. I went ahead and got the 60 today, and I got valves for both. Okay, we got 60 gallons of water. We've got groceries and all the things, and got rid of our trash. Pumping water out, going down through the hose there. Right here. So the key here, I always use the filter at the source and only put filtered water into the bags so that we don't get, you know, something funky that we, you know, that'll be hard to get rid of or we have to wash the bag out or something. So I filter everything going in the bag. Now that that water's filtered, I don't have to use the filter at this end, but if we're at the source, and filling directly in the bus, I fill to the water going. So, as you can see, empty, empty, empty. And now it's just a matter of uh, emptying out the hose and putting everything away. It's, it's pretty easy and uh, it really is, uh, it, it's so much nicer to not break down your entire bus just because you're missing something or you need a grocery or something like that. The vehicle has been awesome go out and find a spot, go to the grocery store, go get water, go take care of things so you don't have to move your house all the time. Just easier, way easier. Let's check our water here. 58, we were probably at like five or six gallons this morning. So that's a total win.